everybody. This is MQR, MQR, and today I am playing The Last Door, made by The Game Kitchen. So, this is a really fun game, at least in my opinion. So, I am making a LP of it. So I guess I'll narrate here, I guess, after all the things I've seen. Okay, so, grab the rope. What's he gonna do with that? After all the things I've done. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. That rhymed. Never realized that. Um. It's too late for me now. Oh, he's gonna hang himself. <laughs> Ugh. I hope you could forget you could forgive me someday. And there. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. The last door. So I guess I'm gonna leave the credits to roll. Pixelated a horror puzzle game, basically. Played by like, wait, I think it's an indie developer, the game. October 1891. Vedetti Nikwiskiat. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It has had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex, Sussex to under the address on the letter. No idea how to pronounce that. See, you can see my cursor, right? Hopefully. Um, and there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Seems scary. Um... Chapter 1, The le Letter. Okay, so I can walk around, um, stuff. Apparently there's some crows behind here. And I think this door is locked. Yeah, it's closed. And probably, probably don't want to get too close to those crows. So let's see what's in the house. I've actually I've, I've played this game before in case anyone doesn't know. This is weird. Everything is silent. There's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Okay, so there's a letter here, a note. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to rec the recent events, the situation has become unbearable 
unacceptable for us and, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. There's a painting of him and he looks old and he looks pretty old. Let's see, so it's, I think it's kind of too dark here to see. There's a grandfather clock. Okay, a grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. A record player. So, some stuff. And a matchbox. Box. I think I want the matchbox. These, only these matches could be useful. Um. Okay. So, there's like a... Okay. There's a crooked painting here, so let's see. Let's see how to see how that. Uh, whoa, it fell. Anyway, so there's a r hidden rosary behind the painting, a solid wood crucifix. Let's see what's in this room. There's a lamp here. That'll be come in handy, and we can use it in the other room to light the room up. Um, looks like there's another note here. I guess, oh, oh, there's, in the wall, there's a trace of the crucifix that was hanging there for years, and now it's gone. So I'm guessing that's what this was. Let's see, so there's a note here. March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of all our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. Or however you pronounce that. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Beach, or September 15th, 1891. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Okay. Let's see, so there's a window here. Let's see, the window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up, so I'll need some sort of cord to keep it open. Yes, I could use the not the, the the rosary to do that. I could also I can also light the yes the rosary will keep the window open. I can use the matches also to light the lamp. See, I think this door here is locked. It's padlocked. Let's see here. This room here is also locked. Or no, it's not. So the kitchen, kitchen stoves is cleaning a lot. Probably want to grab the cleaning cloth. Um, plate pans, more leftover things. We're old, probably don't want to eat that. Um, I think, yeah, this leads outside. Let me just go around here and back into the house. So now I can go up the stairs and there's the lamp. And this door I think is sealed. One open. Pretty sure I can't get through here. There's wooden planks on the door. Let's go in this room. Um see here, painting, stuff. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. Let's see, is there something there? A silver key. I can open a door. See, I don't think there's anything in the, over here in the fireplace. Family portraits. 
fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. So the store is open or locked? Uh, it's locked. I don't think this is the right key for it. Turn up the key does not fit the lock. Okay. So I think the key fits one of the locks down here, probably. So the door is closed, it won't open, and the key does not fit that lock. I'm guessing I can't open that door. Uh -uh. He does not do that lock. Um. Why isn't locks around here? Um. Maybe there's a lock up here that the key doesn't fit. Okay, I think it fits this lock, okay. So down here there is uh this is a record car titled the Carnival of Venice. bar over here and pick that up. And the boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Can't get through this wall of concrete yet. Yes, so here I think I can put the record in the gramophone or whatever. Yes, down there's a record in the gramophone. Wait, wait, no. Is it going to start playing here? Oh, I think I have to start it. Playing. Okay, so the music stopped, so I think I have to fix the gramophone now. Oh, just kidding, that was a jump scare right there. Just kidding, I don't need to fix this, but I probably want to get out of here. I don't want to know what the crows will do to me. Or, yeah, I have to go through there. I don't want to know what the crows will do to me. Um, let's see, maybe the crows from the other area over here are gone. So there's a dead crow here. Maybe, um, I don't know. It's a dying crow, not dead. I guess I can pick it up. Sort of gross. Um, hope this guy has gloves or something, but whatever. I don't know. I guess I could feed it to the. Oh, the codes are gone. Good. I guess I could feed it to the cat. It's kind of. That's kind of. Uh, I don't think that's. That's. It's like an animal abuse. Um, but whatever. See, so I think. I think the cat will try to eat the. Um. The crow. If I go out of here. Well, I just have to wait a bit, I guess. 
I guess maybe in the meantime I can hear the cat meowing. You know, I'll go around the house this way. And I guess for now I can just open up the the door here and then I'll investigate the cat. I'm removing the planks. Oh, uh, for well, God's sake, what happened here? Okay, so there's a dead woman here. It's a lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing this... Or I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my final breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look bereft of all sanity. Compassion and human well warmth. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that will now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Okay, so something fell from her pocket. It is a hairpin. Connect can be useful. There's a wheelchair there, some stuff. I don't think it was here. Nothing of interest. I guess I can just look over the letters. I don't know. I don't feel like reading them. So, I don't know. Read it or something. I just can pause the video <laughs> and then read it. Oh, that wasn't really all. <laughs> that wasn't really that long of a letter. All is uh, all is lost. A diary page. There's writing saying "Leave me alone." On that. What's in this room? So there's a bunch of portraits. Uh, a young Anthony portrait. Adult woman. Woman holding a baby. Old. Severe looking man this has an unsettling gaze. Teenage girl that has a sad face. A young man, one of Anthony's relatives. And the picture sort of covering the window is a portrait of Anthony with the stuffed links. He looks like he's very proud of his valued animal. Uh, paint looks li fresher around the links' of head. Sounds creeping me out, so. Yeah, that door is still locked. I think where I need to go next is up here. I guess I'll investigate the cat in a second. Hmm. But here's a place where I can do the hairpin, and I manage to open the latch for the hairpin. The window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. I guess I can walk around it and get here. So that looks locked up there. You need a force metal hole, there's a key keyhole. Let's see what I get. Um, and so it keeps climbing down. Uh, it's locked with the key, so I can find the key. Some spilled chemical product and remains of chemical experiments. Um, it's like a hammer over here. Maybe I can. Uh, I can deal with that later. Um, anything else here? Uh, something over here. That looks interesting. It is. Oh no, he's unlocked the door. I guess you can open it. Uh, I think there may be more here. 
There's a can of thinner, that could be useful. I guess I can winch this. Uh, I think I can um, take the paint, the fresh paint off of the links, but first I am going to investigate this annoying cat. So, I think the room the cat was in. Okay, oh, the, yeah. So, where did the crow go? I think the cat ate it. So, it looks like the cat, like, when the window ate the food. It's like, there's like a blood trail going down into the, um, the hole here. So, I'm guessing I can't crawl through this. Um, yeah, yeah, so. Let's see. So let's, I think that hole would probably go to the basement. Okay, yeah, so the cat's me out of the ladder here. The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. So I think I can use the hammer to get rid of the wall. Right, so the wall is destroyed. Oh, is it on top of a chest is a black cat. Oh, his eyes are missing. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Good god, I don't want to set my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. Now let's see what's in the chest. Thing. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Yeah, the only other knife is can be useful. So I have a knife. So now let's wipe the paint off the painting to reveal something. I don't know. Slowly walk against the creaky wood floor. And the ominous music is back. Finally, I was really creeped out by the cat music. Or not cat, cat music, yes. Um, the other music is scaring me. <laughs> um, I think, yes, the room is up here. can use a thinner and stuff to wipe away the paint. Okay, the thinner has worked. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone, and now I can see the original painting. This lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it was growling. Okay, so now I have to go back to the secret, sort of, or not really secret. I guess the other room, which I think I opened the door for. Oh, oh I think I got out that way or something. I don't know. I thought you could. I had opened it permanently, but I don't know. Yeah, here. So go here. Let's see. So now I have a knife. And I can see what's the lynx's. In the lynx's mouth. I managed to get the lynx's mouth open. The tongue has been removed and there's a golden key instead. Okay. You can take the golden key and I'm guessing it unlocks that. Um, so I can just use it on that. Oh, there's Anthony. Oh god, no. Anthony, no. Let's search his body. The lifeless body of my dear friend. Oh. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J Dear J. Devitt, if you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you my last 
last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact where we all said the sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter mu must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to just destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay, they are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, David. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I'm guessing the chapter two thing is going to come out tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. Anyways, I guess this concludes chapter one of The Last Door. I don't know. Bye.